Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to do some at quick adding shapes in Photopea today. Um, I've started with an image that has a background in it of clouds, just so you can kind of see some of the effects a little bit as if it were in front of a background. Um, so I have a background layer and this cloud layer above it. So to make shapes, you wanna go down here to your different shape options. I'm gonna do an ellipse today, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hold shift to make this a perfect circle. And I'm gonna draw it pretty much in the middle. I can go to my move tool and move it around. You'll see when it gets pretty center, you get a little X there. And all of the changes that I'm going to make to this circle are actually going to happen in my layers palette. So if you double click on your layer, double click, you will get all of these different options that you can use to edit your uh, shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with giving it a gradient inside. So I'm gonna go to gradient overlay, and you'll notice that I already have some changes here that I've made. So you can change the color of your gradient by double clicking in the colors there. Um, you can move things around, make it more intense, less intense, right, with one color or another color. If I uh, double click on the colors, oh, I can also add, right? You notice that happened. I, I can also delete that after adding it because I accidentally double clicked here. Right, so I can slide this around. Um, I can change its color if I wanted to, you know, maybe to go with more of a red feel down there, okay? So I can do that. And then when I've got everything where I want it, I just click okay. And we can change the angle of the gradient here by spinning this around. Maybe I wanna go with a little bit of a off, off center angle. Um, the scale, you can play around with that, like how the colors kind of shift. I'm actually gonna go with a little bit more yellow on the top there. Cool, when everything's where you want it, you just hit okay, right? Now, I wanna do some more changes, so I'm gonna double click again in this layer, and I can keep editing in here if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go to inner glow. I'm gonna give this an inner glow and uh, there's a lot of options here as well. If you're at normal, um, it'll look a little bit different. So maybe do a color dodge if you wanted to. It's not you know, mandatory, try different things out. You can change the colors again with the gradient um, as well. Um, you have options to change your spread here and your scale size. And this is gonna depend on the size that you're working with. So wherever you like it, that's fine, um, and your range will also change some of how that comes across. So just play around with this until you get to a point where you you like what you're seeing, okay? Um, I like this. I'm also going to give it a stroke, which if you're, you know, remember from Gravit Tutorials, um, gives you, you know, the line on the outside is your stroke. You have your size, you have the opacity of it. Let's go to 100% here, so that gives you a hard, outline again you have the size where you can make it smaller or significantly larger totally up to you right i'm going to go right around there um, you could change the color of it right so if i wanted to make it red click on red um, you know maybe go a little bit more closer to the color that i was using uh, in my image or i can go with the contrasting color if i wanted to right go back to blue maybe something like that it's up to you um, hit OK when you get to the color that you like. You can play around the opacity as well, right? OK. And there's some other options if you want to play around with those to see what happens. Um, outer glow, you can also give your shape an outer glow by clicking on that and then making some changes as well in the spread and size, uh, the opacity, right? And again, like if I go for a, a higher spread, it's going to reach the edges of my size, right? So this is really the size. And then if I go big with the size, but I go small with the spread, it's gonna fade a lot nicer, softer into that realm, you know? So you have your like little sun image, okay? So that's how you can make a shape playing around with the, the layer modes that you have here uh, and using the ellipse tool or whatever shape tool you want to use.